Cosmos. We're here at the Royal Rumble. What you already should know, the road is not very far. And we're going to waste no time by already getting into it. <laughs> I know I'm not very much excited. Of course, I made that already noticeable for those already here. Those coming in, <laughs> saying it right now. But that doesn't mean we can have an, you know, an enjoyable, incredible night. So the match card started off with Bianca Belair, the Raw Champion, versus Alexa Bliss in the championship match. Then we have Bray Wyatt versus LA Knight in a Mountain Dew pitch black match. Hey yo, what the fuck? Then we have, for the second time, Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens, and this is for the Undisputed WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. Okay, so last but not least, if uh, whichever one is going to be the main event, if they're not, you know, we have the women's and the men's Royal Rumble. Okay, so just before we a little bit get into it, I do have a little bit more I have to say before we just get straight into it. So, of course, you know, myself, you know, going into the Royal Rumble, you know, had no interest or care, you know, had my mind elsewhere because, you know, in comment, it's just, you know, whether it's just, you know, Triple H or not, it's practically been, you know, WWE 101. Triple H's vision version of WWE, you know, I, I haven't given a care at all. You know, I, yeah, I pretty much voiced my displeasure and, you know, not being the biggest, obviously, you know, noticeably, I, b being not the biggest cheerleader when it comes to, you know, him being so far in charge of WWE. He does not know how to write characters. He doesn't know how to write stories. And we saw this with his NXT of 2019 from 2021. At least from my point of view, I would say it's gotten way worse to unwatchable. You know, because, you know, we have all these indie, you know, <laughs> these gullible indie nerds running around and thinking, you know, the wrestling is the sore, sore purpose when that's not the case. So, you know, but I have no problem proving to the Triple H indie come eaters and everybody else that, <laughs> you know, no, it's no different and Triple H is just as worse. Okay, before we get, <laughs> before we get to the goodies. Before we read it all, let's, uh, uh, man, <sighs> not to say I'm, like, really surprised, you know, not, <laughs> not to say I'm any more, you know, was really expected, but, I mean, yeah, come on, <sighs> but, I want to actually highlight a few, and, yeah, let's, like, <laughs> let's talk about this Rumble, so, yeah, as the Rumble starts, you know, it's, pr it's pretty, uh, started off slow, and, uh, but, you know, Brock came in. Yeah, after Brock came in, yeah, you, you know, Brock Lesnar comes in, you know, and he does, you know, just as he usually does. Yeah, he he eliminated a few people that he stored that uh, he stared down uh, Gunther. I would actually, I would like to see that actually. I wouldn't mind seeing Gunther and Brock Lesnar in the future. But yeah, that, that, so I guess that that was pretty nice. But uh. <laughs> You know, he, uh, Bobby Lashley after that, you know, enters and he, he eliminated Brock, yeah, with, uh, yeah, clothesline. I think he did a spear first and then, you know, clothesline off the top rope. And, you know, Brock Lesnar did what Brock Lesnar does. <laughs> the beast. Uh, yeah, he, uh, went into beast mode and <laughs> he starts, uh, destroying everything, you know, fucking everything up. Pretty pissed off. And, you know, F5, Baron Corbin, <laughs> yeah, messed, you know, pushed around a few referees, and, yeah, pretty much went, uh, you know, as you expected, but, yeah, I was like, but, yeah, like, I was kind of thinking that to myself, yeah, at least make this, yeah, make this kind of interesting, and at least, uh, you know, engaging for me, you know, and I like that, that, yeah, I like that they did that, okay, and, uh, yeah, you pretty already know what happened here, Ray Mysterio is uh he's supposed to enter at 17, but then Dom <laughs> Dominic shows up at 18 with his uh yeah he has his mask on, and uh, yeah that's pretty much uh what happened here. It pretty much tells you what happened uh, then, as he shows up with his mask. 
and walks to the rumble. And I, I don't know why they keep. I don't know why he keeps doing this and everything like that. But yeah, Booker T enters. He enters the Royal Rumble. You know, scissor kick, spinner Rooney. You know, you know the whole uh, shtick. If you know you're a wrestling, uh, if you're a wrestling admirer, you know you're part of the wrestling community. Like, yeah, you know when when it comes to Booker T. I think he has he's done this twice now. After he does all that, he gets and he got eliminated by Gunther. Like, oh, because uh, the only one I know from t- uh, 2011. But yeah, he kind of did this what twice now, what th- th- three times, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Like, uh, stop being funny. I don't, like I don't know what it, like the deal is there. Obviously, they wanna. He's he was pretty much the only I guess. Well, him and Edge, but he was kind of like really the like I guess you could say not really. Because he'd done it like a few times already, but like, come on, uh, it stopped. Whatever this is supposed to be, like, it stopped being funny, you know, like, like, like yeah, damn near, I, like, like, the first time it happened, so or probably nobody really cared to begin with, but yeah, didn't know why that they need to felt the need to do that again, but it's it's WWE and the <laughs> and Edge, yeah, Edge is back. Yeah, he came back and uh, he was in the Royal Rumble. You know, he was tossing around a few people. He uh, speared Damian Priest and eliminated him. Then he uh, he stared down Seth Rollins. That was a uh, you know a bit of a you know <laughs> rivalry uh, revival, if you want to say. And then he <laughs> he was eliminated by Judgment Day, of course. And uh, you know, chased he chased him down and beat him down. And, uh, yeah, Beth Phoenix even showed up. I, I don't know if they're going to do, if that tells us, like, something. I don't know if they just did that for the Rumble, but I don't know if they, like, they just did that for, like, a one-off. But, but yeah, probably, though, uh, kind of edges back or whatever. Because he did show up at the Royal Rumble, and he was in, involved with a feud with Judgment Day. So, yeah, yeah I guess uh, both of them might come back. And yeah, Beth Phoenix came back and she uh speared Rhea Ripley. So <laughs> then you have uh yeah, Hillbilly. I forgot what I like to call I was about to say like something else, but Oh man, I forgot the word, but yeah, you have Hillbilly Rancher uh Strowman come out, you know, Braun Strowman. And him and almost they do some like, you know, very fake, whack ass uh you know, punch punch combinations. And then almost gets eliminated after that. And then Logan Paul later on, yeah, Logan Paul comes back out. I wish he really won this Royal Rumble, man. But yeah, Logan Paul comes out, and of course, you know he kind of uh, gets it going. Yeah, him and Riche do a springboard clothesline, and yeah, that was yeah that was uh, one of the cool spots in this match too. I actually kind of like that. One of my favorites, uh, I actually really, really liked, uh, I guess, I only liked uh, really what, what Brock Lesnar started doing. But, yeah, that's cool, too. Made this match even more entertaining. So, yeah, then after that, after Logan basically gets eliminated, I, I think he got eliminated by Seth. Well, he eliminated Seth, and I think he Gunther eliminated Logan. And then after that, Gunther and, and Seth Rollins... Yeah, wait, no, this is, like, after, but pretty much I thought it was three, but it was still Logan, Gunther, Seth Rollins, and Cody Rhodes, and then Logan dead. Then Logan eliminates Seth Rollins, and then uh, he gets eliminated by Gunther, and then they do some, uh, I guess it was a ten-minute, five-minute, ten-minute, as, you know, as we already know what was about to happen. We know Cody Rhodes is going to win the Royal Rumble and yeah, let me just say, I, I don't care. I really don't care. As I, I think I said it before, but I can say I can see you no know, let it be known too. I really don't give a damn about Cody Rhodes, <laughs> especially you know like in the latter portion. Of his, Cause I was really a fan of like you know really just like uh, you know kind of like uh, Chad, you know like kind of like you know a uh, a uh, yeah yeah kind of like the asshole bully. Uh, Jock uh, Cody Rhodes. I was a, I was a whole fan of that dashing, and then you know kind of twisted dashing, but yeah, dashing 
Cody Rhodes, and then uh, when he turned uh, thereafter, twenty twelve, yeah, twenty twelve to twenty thirteen, me, that was like peak Cody Rhodes for me. He was really going somewhere with that. And of course, you know, we know the history happened after that. Left to AEW, you know, left to the Indies, then the AEW, and then he's he's back now, and now he's trying to be, I guess, a whole iteration or like kind of like his father calling himself the American Nightmare. I like that. I mean, that's kind of wholesome, but him trying to be a wannabe, you know, him trying to be this fake, this fake-ass, really forced-on baby face that he's trying to be, lo- like, no, I, I don't care. I, I, Cody Cody Rhodes is not a, he, he, he even has that ass, like, he yeah, he even has that dick, like, that real, he gives you that real, like, he's a dickhead vibes, like, I'm that's, I, like I said I, I was a really I, I was into Dash and Cody Rhodes, and when he came after that, you know his whole run as Intercontinental Champion I think one that's one of the, one of the most you know that was one of his best too and, and one of really one of the best runs that I've seen in the PG era and you know you know just like yeah probably one of all time, but yeah he exists uh, to want to go on this yeah this whole. Uh, holy run and be a wannabe John Cena so yeah I uh, do not care for American Nightmare Cody Rhodes <laughs> you know I never have I never will so yeah Cody Rhodes gets the pick he's pretty much basically facing <laughs> he's basically facing Roman Reigns and yeah they're gonna do it at Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns at Wrestlemania 39 Okay, so yes, so we knew Bray, we knew Bray Wyatt is gonna go over L.A. Knight, but it's like, it's like, like that, like that squash match could have been on like a, that could have been on an episode of like SmackDown, like why he, I, I, like I know, I, and if you like really wanted to do, like to make Bray just really extremely irrit, like uh you know just extremely intimidating. Then you could have had just like him the whole match just completely dominate and just ridicule L.A. Knight. Could have just like you know just you know, just damage and destroy. And he could have yeah you could have did all that and that could have pretty much tell there uh, yeah at least for like you know fifteen to twelve minutes could have at least gave it something. But it's like that. I saw, like, of course, because, I mean, probably, like, most of us, I mean, I pretty much knew, uh, even though I kind of, like, wanted L.A. Knight to win, but pretty much knew, you know, Bray was going over, but, like, that whole shit, bro, like, at the Royal Rumble, too, and that's just, like, it's not, it doesn't even feel that kind of match, and also, and, you know, altercation doesn't even, doesn't even fit at the Royal Rumble. <laughs> and first of all, that that you know that pitch black match, uh, which is why it was so fu- it was dark. I don't know what, no, I don't know why the fuck they did that, but of course uh, they were one of their sponsors. Of course they were doing you know doing this whole you know sponsor was uh you know fucking Mountain Dew, their new uh drink that they got coming out. But like uh, ridiculous. And then after Bray. You know, after he, uh, you know, goes over him, you know, he squashes him, basically, you know, L.A., he, tr- LA and he uh, you know, basically tries to uh, really, like, uh, put the hurt on him, you know, basically, yeah, basically erase him, and, you know, L.A. Knight tries to, like, f- uh, fend him off, and, you know, but Bray, you know, obviously, he's not taking any damage, and he subdues, and then Uncle Howdy comes out, out and, yeah, basically overhead with Bray, and he basically, you know, he launches himself right into L.A. Knight. And like I said, it's like, I care much. That this doesn't fit. And, uh, uh, well, yeah, the fall the feud, this whole, yeah, the whole feud leading up to this, regardless, uh, you know, I couldn't, it was really, uh, I mean, yeah, they really didn't do anything major. So, L.A. Knight and Bray Wyatt, I didn't really much care for this. I mean, yeah, L.A. Knight is, because, I, like I said, he's one of my favorites. And he was, yeah, he was kind of pretty much entertaining. But, uh, yeah, they didn't make this engaging or interesting for me at all. 
and yeah, this whole squash, I just see yeah, it. This definitely uh, felt out of place, but like I said, they could have did a lot more to seem like to let have Bray go over, and you know, seem much more intimidating and unbeatable, you know, like a, a unre unreckonable force. But yeah, it just I feel like this is like a yeah, pretty much a, a cop out. Yeah, is what it is. So yeah, let's move on. Then you have Alexa Bliss and Bianca Belair. I'm not gonna say that. Like, that, I mean, this could have been. Yeah, this could have been really. They could have made this really like you know intriguing, and they could have really brought. Yeah, they could have blew away some people's expert. Well, Triple H. <laughs> oh, you say that Triple H could have, you know, added a lot more to this. But yeah, to me, it just felt like an extra match. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's what it, like these expect like when these come these matches like feel like you know Alexa Bliss versus Bianca, like oh yeah you know Bianca is going over yeah, yeah you know Alexa is nowhere near walking out, but, I mean I mean it it would seem like a move like that would happen but I mean the way they uh, they've had her as of lately on the card I mean <laughs> yeah like uh, yeah she's pretty much been doing whatever they uh ha they have her in but. Yeah, like I'm not saying they could have made this a, a lot, a lot of more, you know, intriguing, and they could have really like you know built up from this. But you know, it was a feud. Well, not yeah, it was basically this uh, yeah a, a match, a feud that didn't really yeah you really could re remove this, and it, this was just here to be here, you know, because you know, whatever they want to do with it, so. Yeah, of course. So of course, you know, Bianca. It's a quick match. You know, Bianca go. Uh, you know, is still champion. And you know, yeah, some shit happens right after the match. Of course, you know, Bray, or you know, his like firehouse minions. You know, uh, well, who? Yeah, Uncle Howdy now. Yeah, he starts taunting her. You know, are you in control? You know, basically trying to uh, lure her back into. <laughs> Back under his demand, and I, last, I said before already too. I don't want to see this shit. <laughs> like, like I'm pretty sure I speak for the majority. Like, uh, even if you have to, I, like, I have my a large, a loud ass voice when I say I do not want to see this shit, man. I like, and it's just Triple H. <laughs> Once again, it's just Triple H in charge, and it's just another sign of, you know, of the same shit happening. Like. Who, who, like, who wants to see this? Like, who can, I, I don't care if Alexa Bliss is so excited being at Bray is back. She wants to work with Bray again. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Nobody liked Alexa Bliss or whatever the fuck that, you know, era was. No, like, nobody liked, uh, you know, to, his very, uh, downgradish Dollar General Harley Quinn stuff. Like, nobody liked that shit. Like, like, so why are we going back to the, why are we going back why are we going back? <sighs> but that's the match. And yeah, like all that happened and pretty much, yeah, it, you know, it's only getting, you know, weirder and, you know, draw, you know, even more exhausting from here on out. So, well, so far I like the Royal Rumble match, but yeah, these couple of matches, uh, they kind of, kind of took me out a bit. So, and uh, seeing that even more so just really, uh, yeah, really gave me a click to uh, really, you know, cut this off, cut this shit away. But it's not like I have a choice. Once again, I did did not care. It's probably for the women's uh, Royal Rumble, sorry. Even though I'm, uh, yeah, pretty much a big, uh, <laughs> big supporter of women's wrestling. But, yeah, I did not <laughs> <laughs> I did not give us a, a single F U C K. I did not care. Did not <laughs> Wow wow wow. It was uh, really, really, really long. Well I think it was even more long than the Royal Rumble. A men's Royal Rumble, but yeah, you know the reason there. Uh surprise I was yeah, I was kinda also surprised too that Liv Morgan lasted that long. Probably, I don't know, maybe she maybe she did something recently for her to warrant that, and yeah, but yeah, <laughs> I could yeah I couldn't be bothered, bro. I'd rather watch my balls 
than uh or yeah, I I I rather uh scrape my balls on a uh and wash it on a, a cheese grater before I take a uh you know you know succumb myself to this, but yeah, I did <laughs> did give a single. But Rhea Ripley, yeah, Rhea Ripley is going to WrestleMania. She is your 2023 Royal Rumble winner. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess I could say I, I don't know, because I was, uh, you really say there are other picks. I mean, because he did have t- damage control coming back, so I thought that those, it could be one of those or Dakota between Io that could have won. But I mean, Rhea is kind of. One of uh, their top, I'll say that, but yeah, but one of, she's one of their top card, one of the uh, card pushers, so, and she is one of uh, Triple H's, uh, still one of Triple H's original babies, so, of course, she's gonna, uh, yeah, she wins uh, the Royal Rumble. I'm not gonna say I don't like Rhea Ripley, but even in her latest, uh, the, what she's got going on now, this whole... <laughs> BDSM, Dominic Matrix, uh, her trying to be a, they're also trying to prop her up basically as a modern day China, like, you know, yeah, you know you see it, and you know what's uh, going on when it comes to that, so, just by her beating, uh, uh, you know, one of the men, it was like a man rush, something like that, but, yeah, I don't hate Rhea Ripley, but I also don't, I don't care for her either, so, but, yeah, yeah, she's going to WrestleMania. She's uh, so yep, she's also in the uh, women's Royal Rumble winner. Again, I didn't give uh, Capital single FUs. I could not, but uh, yeah, extremely uh, boring. Just really, really boring. Oh man, it really <laughs> yeah, the women's uh, oh, I could draw, but yeah, it, yeah, it just it just sucked. Extreme ass. But Rhea Ripley is your uh, Royal Rumble women's winner. Okay. For the main event, Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens, you know, uh, WWE Undisputed Championship match, and I already know what happens next. Like, we already know. The only thing I have to ask is, like, I know... I know Roman Reigns is a part of his, like, it's a part of his gimmick, it's a part of his character, but, like, at least for this match, which is basically filler, I mean, they didn't have to, like, just do useless and finishes and just overblown, you know, these, like, yeah, all these overblown, like, finishes and, like, like, uh, yeah, I felt like that was too much, like, like, come on, we know he's gonna go, like, we know he's gonna, come, like, win, like, come on now, we know he's gonna retain, we know he's going to uh, come out on top, so I, they don't even, especially like a match that turned out how it turned out like this, too. Uh, it was all right, but, I mean, passable, whatever, I guess, but, yeah. But, oh, well, the stuff that happens after is what y'all want to hear about. This, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we all were expecting yeah, the, the trial continues. Sami Zayn final test, as yeah, as they uh, c- of course uh, you know, dominate some more and just ruthlessly, brutally beat uh Kevin to a pulp, and you know they uh chair on his neck, and you know super kicking him as he's handcuffed to the ropes, and Sami Zayn yeah, it's just uh wow, <laughs> very heartbroken about it, and Roman tells him. To he like he should do it. Yeah, I shouldn't do this. You should do it. And yeah, like Sammy obviously doesn't want to do it. He can't do it. And yeah, you know what happens next? He like you know they've been teasing this. I actually kind of didn't know at first, but I just saw the trial, so I kind of got it from there. But yeah, uh, <laughs> Sammy Zayn turns face. He hits Roman with a chair. Shield <laughs> Seth Rollins to uh, both Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns Shield style, yeah, and uh, of course shock faces, and they start to beat on Sami Zayn, <laughs> and uh, yeah, 
Roman Reigns as Roman Reigns. Uh, yeah, the crowd. I can't. I couldn't like. I know they was chatting. Like it was something had to do with worth it, but the crowd was chatting. Was it worth it? As Roman Reigns peels the uh, Sami Zayn's bloodline mantle all on top of him, he throws it all over top of him, and they leave. Ripped, uh, honor, ripped honorary uh, Us shirt and all, and yeah, they're both basically battered in the ring. Owens and Sammy. Beautiful, beautiful. You see that AEW cuckolds? That storytelling. What's been going on with Sami Zayn in the bloodline right now? Yeah, just uh, listen to this. That storytelling. I hope all y'all was watching that. That was storytelling right there. That's long term booking. You know, as the fat the the fat cat lover J D likes to say. Yeah, that's uh that's long term booking. But yeah, that was that was uh simply gorgeous. That was uh wow, that was gorgeous. Just wow. Adding to another master class in a chapter of, you know, Roman Reigns bloodline and this uh recent chapter of uh Sami Zayn being kicked out of the bloodline. That was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know it was one of those events that's what it felt like, Royal Rumble. It just had to be already one of those events. For me especially. And yeah, overall, yeah, this is definitely uh one of the weaker, you know uh WWE pay per views of the year. So it was kinda in the middle. So I gave it, you know, three doo doo shitty poops so uh yeah that was uh yeah because it was kind of in the middle neutral but it was all right but then again it wasn't uh wasn't uh very horrible but you know it was uh like uh yeah just uh. but i'm gonna see y'all later that was royal rumble and i'll see y'all next time lord cosmo